Hello. So in the last video, what we did is we broke our entire data that we did missing value treatment on into train validation and the subtest data set, which was basically the final one that we will use our model on and submit it to Kaggle, right? So I'm going to refer to the training data set as training validation one as a validation and the test one, the final submission one as a test, right? And if you see my folder, we basically have all three of them available. The test one, the train one, sorry, has 713 rows. The validation one has 178 rows. 418 rows are there in the test. And this is what is finally going into Kaggle for submission. Okay, so let's get started. First, what I'll do is I'll, wherever I am on this folder, I have these three files with me. I'm just going to open a new Python notebook and we're going to build a basic Titanic solution. Solution. And we'll say log model, right? I'll, I usually like to give the date. So it's 21st August 2019 and save, right? So first, I'm not going to add a lot of things. I'm just going to keep it very simple and to the point. So whatever is needed, I'm just going to work on that and I'm not going to keep any extra codes in this, right? So the process seems simple. So first, we are just going to use pandas. So I'm just going to say import pandas as pd. Let me just enlarge this a little bit. So import pandas as pd, run the code, and then I'm going to input the train data set right so it's read underscore csv and it's going to be calling called as excel underscore train dot csv right i'm going to do train dot head right so this is one of the things that i'm going to do i'm also going to have pd dot read underscore csv so I'm just going to read this and I'm going to add three of them here because I'm going to also import the validation one, right? And also the um, test one, right? So train test and validation, all of them, right? So this one is going to be called as validation. And this one is going to be called as test. Right, so if you see all of these data sets that I have, it's going to be Excel validation, Excel train, and Excel test. Right, so all three of them. So I run this code, I should get the first five rows. Run this code, get the first five rows, run this code, and get the first five rows. Right, now for modeling purposes, right, we need to break our data sets into further divisions, such as we need to get it into Y train, X train, Y test x test the submission file uh, and submission y and submission x right so i'm going to call this as test uh, y and test x okay so to do that what you're going to do is i'm just going to say x underscore train is equal to train dot drop right and i'm just going to drop the variables that are not going to be required for the modeling right it's going to be passenger id and it's also going to be survived, right? And I want to delete it along the axis is equal to one, that is along the column, right? So basically this is my X train. Now, if I have to get the Y train, I simply have to just get the variable survived, right? So I'm just going to delete some of this and then I'm going to have the train survived here, right? Now, obviously we need a validation data set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this below, paste it, right? And then copy this, paste it. I'm just gonna call this as my validation data set. So I'm gonna evaluate how my model is built on this, right? So it's going to be called as validation right similarly i'm going to copy this 
paste it here and I'm going to call this one also well, right? So if I run this code, I basically get my x train, y train, x val, y val, right? Now it goes as per this. So I have my y train, x train, y validation and x validation. Right? We can just consider this to be validation. Ideally in the ideal world, it's called as test. So that's why I've put it here, right? Um, in the ideal world, right, you wouldn't do this because since I'm doing in a very simplistic process for understanding, in the ideal world, we would do something like this, where we have X, that is your train data set, which will be nothing but the 819, um, 91 rows um, and the train um, data set, the Y uh, column. And then we use the SkyKittle learns model selection train test split, right? And this basically creates this four data sets for us very easily. And I'm going to show this in a next video. But now let's stick to the simple method where we've already broken down the data sets within Excel. Uh, since you know our problem statement was we work everything on Excel except for the modeling part, right? So we basically got all our all our components now. Now it's time for us to basically build the model, right? So for building the model, we are going to require the SQL in package and the logistic regression. So I'm going to say SQL learn dot linear right underscore model right import logistic regression right so if i done this correctly it should be imported right so if we're going to build a log model this is equal to and then i basically get my logistic regression instance here so I initiate one of these instance right so i basically have a, a logistic regression instance so i can say log dot fit and basically it's going to be model right so dot fit and then we need to give the x train and the y train remember guys is basically your train uh, theta set is basically given first and then your y train is given right so i have a capital x here and a small y here so in case you are getting into issues you basically want to check the cases right python is case sensitive if I run this code, uh, it basically builds the model and it defaults it to all the default parameters that it can, right? There is something that is uh, going to be um, changed, which is mentioned here. Basically, the default solver is going to be LBFGS. So what we can do is, you know, write the uh, write code, say solver is equal to LBF gs right so if i run this sorry if i run this and fit my model basically that's going to go right now this number of iterations is uh, a problem which we will look at later but ideally let's stick with the basic model building process right so we build the model now what we need to do is basically see how how our model worked right so basically what we can do is say log dot score and then give our x train and give our y train, right? So this is your uh, score and, oh, sorry, I forgot this name. It's going to be model. So if I run this code, basically I get the score for this particular model, right? Now, now we have done it on the train uh, data set which is not the ideal way. We're going to use a validation data set for actually evaluating how well our model perform on an unseen data, right? But that is for the next video. So apart from that, there are some other things that I would like to show. That is basically log underscore model, sorry, model, uh, and dot coef, right? So there is a lot of parameters uh, that are uh, uh, present here that we can get so if i just do tab you will see a lot of uh, uh, things that we can access on this model right so right now i basically stuck to the uh, coef one where i'm just getting all the coefficients for all the 46 variables that i have right 
and I could also got, uh, get the sorry constant um, here and then it's basically going to be called as intercept right so if I run this model basically I get the intercept and the coefficient for all of the variables that I have picked right so guys this is what is the you know basic modeling process um, on your training data set in the next video what we're going to do is look at our test data set and the sorry I'm, we're going to look at the validation data set and see how well our data or our trained model is going to perform on that unseen data right and then we can compare the results right we we have the output the survival details for that particular data so we can compare like to like which of the uh, outputs that our model is giving is actually correct right and what's the percentage of it depending on which we'll choose what is our final model going to be thank you for watching guys and please do watch out for the next video on how i progress this if you like this video guys please hit the thumb button if you've not already subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button thank you